Hey guys, I'm Chase and welcome to the Moonshot Money channel. These are certainly uncertain times, especially for investors. But what we know from history is this, investors who are able to buy great companies when they are in the hospital or in ICU are the same patient investors who create wealth when situations improve. Is it easy? No, it's hard and no one knows where the bottom is. If you believe in America and you buy great companies, you're putting yourself in a very good position. Seven investments that we're buying right now. That's today's video. Are you ready? Let's go. Investing in stocks can be a great way to earn life-changing wealth in the stock market. The keys are knowing which stocks to buy and when to buy them. That's the hard part. Businesses that can grow faster than average businesses for long periods of time tend to be rewarded by Wall Street, delivering wonderful returns to shareholders in the process. And the faster they grow, the bigger the returns can be. As you know, some great companies have been sent to the hospital in an ambulance over the last few months. The whole economy is sick right now. Inflation, threats of war, supply chain problems, cultural conflicts, political conflicts, crime and violence, and more are hurting the hard-working American families. Great companies are the babies, and the economy is the bathwater. Both are getting thrown out together. We're going to look at seven investments or companies that we are incrementally buying right now. We have put a lot of thought into the number seven one, and we're excited to share that investment with you in a minute. Number one is Shopify. Shares of the e-commerce solution provider have already lost more than half their value this year. Most of Shopify's recent fall happened in response to forward-looking guidance. In a nutshell, the company warned investors to expect heavier than expected investments into fulfillment services. Listen to this. Shopify's share of e-commerce sales in America is second only to the mighty Amazon. And it's gaining on Amazon. In 2021, Shopify's share of overall e-commerce sales grew more than twice as fast as Walmart's. Our conviction comes from the fact that they are going international with their fulfillment services and they have all kinds of room to grow. In other words, Shopify is a young Amazon. We're nibbling right now. Other e-commerce options for you to think about are Amazon and Etsy. Number two is C Limited. Singapore-based C Limited is a triple threat company in the digital economy. The company's three segments cover online gaming, e-commerce, and payments. This year, analysts expect C Limited to continue its incredible run of growth. Revenue was $1.05 billion in 2018 and is estimated to be $13.98 billion for 2022. That represents a compound annual growth rate of 91%. All digital trends are only moving in one direction, straight up. And that is certainly in C Limited's favor. We're buying at these operating table prices right now. Another investment option would be Block, formerly known as Square. Number three is Apple. Apple has just built one of the world's greatest brands, which hasn't escaped the attention of Warren Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway is one of Apple's largest shareholders. He's made a killing from his investment in Apple. Apple ended the quarter with a net cash position of $80 billion on its balance sheet. What are they going to do with all that money? Apple is returning a great deal of that mountain of cash to shareholders. It returned $14 billion in dividends over the last year. Apple is also buying back shares with cash, which reduce the share count and drives up the share price. That's a great place to be if you're Apple. At some point in the future, there will be the release of another blockbuster product. They aren't just sitting on the cash. They are researching and developing to the tune of $23 billion last year. All the above is just the widening the moat that protects Apple from competitors. Apple is just Apple. We are adding to our holdings as we can. Number four is Microsoft. 2021 was another impressive year for Microsoft. Shares delivered a total return of more than 52%, while the company's cloud division grew faster than the other divisions. But is it too late to buy Microsoft? Last quarter, Microsoft grew 20%, which is almost unbelievable for a company this large. Microsoft's operating margins also expanded, with operating profits surging higher than 24%. According to analysts, it appears the level of growth can be sustained. Microsoft is now a conglomerate with a number of high growth products and services, and they are also still in the acquisition posture. We are buying a little more when we can. 
Number five is Disney. You know about the parks, you know about the merchandise, you know about the movies and brands. What we are excited about is the accelerating streaming business. Disney added 17.4 million streaming subscribers during the most recent quarter. Management expects new titles and market launches to continue acting as a tailwind and said that subscriber growth in the second half of the year should be higher than the first. Wow. In the longer term, Disney CEO believes that Disney Plus will reach between 230 and 260 million subscribers by 2024. Meanwhile, Netflix added a disappointing 8.3 million subscribers in its most recent quarter. Disney's subscriber base is accelerating and the Netflix subscriber base is slowing down. With the pandemic's presence seeming to gently fade from our lives, coupled with travel beginning to open back up again and summer coming, we are really excited to be Disney shareholders right now. From a 12-month high of around $200 per share, we are now buying at a 25% discount at sub $150 range. We are certainly not anti-Netflix because we are actually nibbling on this monster company at these deep discounts, but we are buying Disney much more. Number six is Tesla. As a company, Tesla is red hot. After delivering a record production of 237,000 cars in the third quarter of 2021, the EV maker ramped up production to reach yet another record. 306,000 cars delivered in the fourth quarter of 2021. With the Austin, Texas and Berlin, Germany new plants set to open this year, we expect those production numbers to continue in the upward direction. Elon Musk is betting that the other projects like a full self-driving, ride-sharing, energy storage, and the Optimus humanoid robot will help sustain Tesla's long-term growth. If and when Tesla reaches full self-driving, all bets are off. This never-seen-before software product has untold profit-generating potential. Full self-driving will unlock products we haven't even imagined yet. These Tesla products now available and future products are world-changing, and the only thing we can compare Elon Musk and Tesla to is Standard Oil Company and John D. Rockefeller. Rockefeller caught lightning in a bottle at the precise moment in time that the world was changing from horse and buggy to automobile. It actually made him astronomically rich. Are we at another similar moment in time? We are convinced this company will continue to grow, innovate, invent, and produce products the world has never seen. Not just widgets we've never seen, but world-changing products. Tesla is just getting started. Our portfolio is holding 38% of Tesla stock, and we are putting every extra disposable dollar we have in our number one highest conviction stock. Just like Rockefeller, Tesla has made Elon Musk astronomically rich, and the best is yet to come. Number seven, we thought about this for a few days and we want to help as many people as we can. Sometimes paying attention is the cheapest thing that you can do, right? We watch people buy disposable things all the time that depreciate to basically zero. The money is gone and is never coming back. So before we tell you what number seven is, we want to know what all of you are buying. Let us know in the comments below which companies that you are buying at these great discount prices. Okay, our number seven investment that we want to tell you about today is assets. Buy things that appreciate. Buy things that produce income. Buy things that pay dividends. Build a business that generates profit. Buy things you can rent. Buy things you can flip for profit. The difference between people who struggle financially and people that don't struggle, the difference is how they spend their money. Turn cash into assets. You can't escape the rat race of just a nine to five job while you spend most every dollar you make. Worst yet is when people spend it all and use credit cards to finance their upside down lifestyles. You'll never regret investing in your future, but you will regret not investing. The biggest risk in your financial life is not taking any risks at all. Two words, buy assets. Earn more, save more, invest more, so you can one day give much more. Check out one of these videos here and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everyone.